Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we enter into these sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins as we ask the Lord for pardon and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore I ask as the Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for the Lord to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time, you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb, led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. O oh Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O oh Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O oh Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O oh Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O oh Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is in mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to the end, but sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God. A God who punishes day by day. O oh Lord my God, in you I take refuge.
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But others said, the Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees and asked them, Why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd which does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he's doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. You cannot be on the fence. You're either for him or against him. Since Jesus walked this earth, he has caused division. You're either for him or you're against him. You can't play both sides. You can't be on the fence. And so it says a division occurred. The crowd there, some said, well, he's not from here, he's from there. He's the prophet, he's the Christ. And even the guards said, he's unlike any other. They didn't know whether to believe or not, but he spoke like no other. As it'll say elsewhere, he spoke with authority, that his words had meaning. And they were used to listening to the Pharisees and scribes, but their words were empty. They were shallow. They were not backed up by their life. Because the people would watch them, just like you watch us. You watch us, you see us at the store, you see us at a restaurant, you can watch out of the corner of your eye, like, there's Father over there. I wonder what he's eating for dinner. Oh yes, you have your eyes on us, and we have our eyes on you. We like to watch each other. And boy, did they watch Jesus. They watched him, every move he made, everything he said. And some people were listening because they wanted to learn. They wanted to know more about him. And others listened to capture him with what he said or what he did because he was unlike any other and he had so many people who liked him and the crowds got bigger and bigger and the Pharisees and scribes said, well, what about us? Don't you like us? They said, he's different because he's the Son of God. The Savior, the Messiah is in our midst. 
And the Pharisees and scribes said, well, we're intelligent, we're smart, and we won't fall for that because, you know, the crowd, you guys, you're not so smart. And you just fall for what he says. But us, we're educated. And that still is today. So many people who say, we're educated. We've got so many doctorates. And we know so much. And we won't fall for what the church says and what that Jesus says because we know better. We've studied for years and years and we won't fall for that. The same is true today as it was 2,000 years ago. Who needs religion? Who needs God? Who needs the Son of God? I've got a mind. I've got an intellect. I'm able to reason. I believe in science. Well, great. You can use your mind and have an intellect and believe in science and believe in God. Amen? Amen. We don't have to be stupid sheep. Some people think, well, because you go to church, you're stupid. No, we're not stupid. We can be smart. We can be intelligent. And be able to be like Nicodemus. Because Nicodemus stood up. Imagine the courage that he had. Because they're all condemning him. And Nicodemus says, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him? We find out what he's doing, what he's all about. And then they attack him. Right? This ad hominem attack. We're going to attack the person. Instead of saying, well, Nicodemus is a, is a wise man. He's a holy man. No. Are you one of him? Are you one of his group? Are you from Galilee too? It took courage to stand up. It takes courage today to stand up. I hope and pray that you're strong. That you're courageous. Because the world is going crazy. The world is upside down. It's spinning out of control. But our rock, Jesus Christ, is who we stand upon. He's the truth. He is the way. He's the one who will guide us and strengthen us. And that we find our salvation in Him, not in the world. We can't give up on the world. That you and I need to be like Nicodemus and say, wait, 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 wait a second. You're teaching what in our schools? To our kindergartners? To our first graders? You're doing what? You're taking out what? And people are standing up and speaking out because the truth will set you free. Don't be afraid what people are going to say about you, what they're going to do to you, because Christ is with you. He's with you. He'll always be with you. Please stand. Let's lift up our prayers now to our Heavenly Father who knows all of our needs. We pray for the church, for all the leaders in the church to be strong, to be courageous in proclaiming the truth of Jesus Christ and the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for all civil leaders that they too stand for truth, that they seek peace. We pray for peace in the Ukraine and wherever there is war and division, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our young people that they're open to the call to follow our Lord, that they're courageous, that they're willing to know and believe that he will lead them to his kingdom by the path that he chooses for each of us. We pray to the Lord. We pray on this first Saturday to have a heart like Mary to unite our heart to the heart of Mary, to the heart of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For the sick and for the, the suffering, for 
for all who have died and gone before us, in particular for Vern and Phil Dorsch on their death anniversary, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for the prayers that you hold in the silence of your heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord Almighty God and Father, with faith and confidence, we surrender ourselves and these our prayers to you. We ask you to grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of you, human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the man, so that the praise of the Lord will be seen. For our good and the Lord. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands. And even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth have full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes to the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself. So from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. <clears throat> may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her blessed spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children. <coughs> to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, conform by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>
peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray. And by their working, render us fully pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow down for God's blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace, that helped by the consolations of this world, they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Hail Holy Queen number 125. Hail Holy Queen.